jobs in the Middle East, in Nigeria, Venezuela, to name a few. Now, I'm proud that in my home state of New Jersey, we are number two in the nation in terms of solar capacity, behind only California. And we have seen new jobs created because of it. So, Madam President, global warming is a challenge that faces us all, and it is a challenge we must face together. It is not enough to sit back and watch as tragic stories unfold, as heat waves and wildfires strike, as we see floods and droughts, more severe hurricanes, species disappearing, ice caps melting, glaciers melting, sea levels rising. It is not enough to sit back and watch because we have a human moral imperative to take action. And it is not enough because someday the door that tragedy knocks on could be our own. Great change always has its opponents. Instead of arguing that we should be innovative, they'll argue that we should be afraid. That we should do all we can to hold on to the ways of the past instead of having the courage to prepare for the future. The American people are tired of being told what they cannot achieve. And they are tired of being told they should be satisfied with the status quo. It is time to put aside our fears unleash our powers of innovation, and rise to meet one of the defining challenges of our time for this and future generations of Americans. What the Senate decides ultimately is going to determine the course of our country in ways that are so significant from the course of the environment that we collectively share, both here in America and across the globe, from the question of economic opportunity, for the question of national security, not depending on the oil of countries that have totally different views and values than we have. That is all wrapped up in the debate and the votes that we will be taking. I hope that we have the courage to move in a direction that ultimately meets all of that challenges and that acts as good stewards for future generations of Americans so that we can look at this moment and say history will judge us in a way that ultimately will say you did what your responsibility was. I thank again my colleague from Rhode Island for his courtesy, and I yield the floor. Madam President.